me now I wanna wake up with you in the morning Show me there's nothing fake to me now I wanna wake up with you in the morning Say what you wanna say to me now I wanna wake up with you in the morning Show me there's nothing fake to me now What's up YouTube? Today's video is going to be on the part 2 of the breathing series So in the part 1 I discussed about the anatomy of breathing and how to target all these muscles effectively and I also gave you the exercises if you are a shallow breather or if you want to improve your breathing techniques so that was just to improve your breathing technique in the steady state but in this video we will be discussing about how to breathe with different kind of exercises either it be weight lifting, cardio or stretching so watch the video till the end to know about all the breathing techniques with different kind of exercises it's also necessary to adopt a good breathing technique with all the exercises you perform because if your heart is not pumping good oxygenated blood into your muscles then you won't be able to improve your performance and build endurance with the exercises which you perform but before you start with this video I will suggest you to practice the exercises that I mentioned in the part 1 so that you can get comfortable and good with your breathing techniques and then it will be easier for you to translate that good breathing technique into all the exercises which we are going to discuss here so here I will be dividing the exercises into different categories and also give you their breathing techniques and an example so that it gets clear for you so let's start this video and look into the different exercise categories and how to breathe while performing them so the first one is while you lift very heavy loads so when you are going to your max reps or if you are lifting heavy weights in your daily circumstances then how to breathe while doing that so in this scenario we use Valsalva maneuver which is an advanced technique which is used to increase your intra-abdominal pressure so that you stay away from any injury or any spinal distortions so here before the lift we have to inhale and tighten our belly as much as is possible then we have to hold this breath till the sticking point is over so sticking point is the point of the exercise which has peak tension or you can consider it as a difficult phase of the exercise so till you finish so till you finish that sticking point, you have to hold your breath and then after you finish, you can exhale. So Vaisalva Maneuver is an advanced technique which requires a lot of learning and experience so that you can do it efficiently with heavy lift. So if you are a beginner, then I won't suggest you to start with that. So I will be making a detailed video on this Vaisalva Maneuver later on so that you can understand how to progress into this technique. The second category here is while lifting some maximal weights or performing any body weight exercises. So this category covers the last portion of exercises which we do in the gym or at home with the normal body weight exercises. So every exercise is divided into two phases, concentric and eccentric phase. So concentric phase is a bit difficult as compared to the eccentric phase. So the breathing is also according to that. In the concentric phase, which is a difficult part of the exercise, we have to exhale. And in the eccentric phase, which is a bit easier as compared to the concentric, we have to inhale. So it will go like this as we do perform bicep curls. This is the concentric phase, here we have to exhale. And as you go down, it is the eccentric phase, we have to inhale. So to sum up this in short, in the hardest phase, in the eccentric phase and in the phase where you are moving against the gravity, you have to exhale. Or in the easier phase, eccentric phase or in the phases where you are moving with the gravity, you have to inhale. is the plyometric exercises. So plyometric exercises are the exercises which involves a lot of explosive movement and puts a lot of strain on your muscles for the short period of time. So in case of the plyometric, as your body closes or as you prepare for the explosive portion of the exercise, you have to inhale. And as your body opens and you move on to the explosive phase, you have to exhale so that your body will feel light and you will be able to perform better in that explosive phase or you will be able to jump higher and will be able to provide more force into that explosive portion of that exercise such as in case of the squat jumps as you squat down you have to inhale and as you jump up you have to exhale and shoot up or upward The next category is the isometric exercises. Isometric exercises are the exercises where your muscle length is not changing. It's just you are holding the exercises in the most difficult phase and providing tension to your muscles. So in case of the isometric exercises, the exercises where your core is not contracting or expanding, in that case you can follow a 3 to 3 ratio of breathing. Where you breathe in for 3 seconds and breathe out for 3 seconds. So in case if you are, if you are already fatigued with this exercise, 
then you can use your mouth to exit or else try to use your nose for inhalation as well as exhalation. But in case of exhalation where your core is contracting and expanding, in that case you can use the shallow breathing of 1 is to 1 ratio. That is 1 second you can inhale and 1 second you can exhale. But make sure that with all the isometric exercises you don't hold your breath. If you hold your breath with these exercises, then you won't be able to hold that exercise position for a long time. category is cardio or cardio based exercises. In case of the cardio we include running, swimming, cycling etc. And in the cardio based exercises we have jumping jacks, sport jumps etc. With the cardio activities it's necessary that you adopt a rhythmic steady breathing pattern so that you enjoy your cardio and also improve your stamina and endurance as you perform these activities. So to start with you can adopt a breathing technique of 3 is to 2 ratio which means 3 seconds inhale and 2 seconds exhale. So to begin with you can use this 3 is to 2 ratio and as your pace increases you can go for 2 is to 1 that is 2 second inhalation and 1 second exhalation and even further when you sprint or if you are doing any high explosive cardio then you can use a technique of 1 is to 1 ratio which means 1 second inhalation and 1 second exhalation. But one more thing here you have to note is that as you are beginning with the normal steady pace cardio which is a low intensity then you only use your nose to breathe in as well as breathe out. But as your pace increases then you can use your mouth for exhalation. Stretching and recovery. So here I am considering the static stretches that we do after the workout wherein we hold each of the stretches for 30 seconds at least. So this is a great point where you can practice our breathing techniques and extend your exhalation time. So, so if you have noticed, it's easy for us to extend our inhalation time but when it comes to exhalation it requires a lot of practice. So this is the time where you can practice it. So to begin with, we can start with 3 is to 3 ratio of breathing. That is 3 second inhalation and 3 second exhalation. And as you get more experience with this, you hold a stretch and stay there for 5 to 5 ratio. That is 5 second inhalation and 5 second exhalation. And the recovery is the phase where you rest in between the sets of the exercises. So here also you can use a good diaphragmatic breathing technique starting with the ratio of 3 is to 3 and as you get experience move on to the ratio of 5 is to 5. So this will help you to recover in between the sets and hit the other set with full energy. One more important point which applies to all these exercise category is that as you get fatigued, you can use your mouth for exhalation. So as you start with the exercise or if the exercise is very low intense, then you prefer your nose for inhalation as well as exhalation. But as you are getting tired or if you are doing exercises with least rest, then you can use your mouth for exhalation as well. So make sure you practice both of these techniques as and when it's required. Thanks for watching the video. I hope I gave you some valuable information regarding how to breathe with different exercise categories. And if you implement these good breathing techniques into your exercise routine, then I can guarantee you that it would be a great help for you to improve your performance and also build your endurance. So if you find it helpful, then like the video, comment below your experience and other queries, and share this video with everyone who want to improve their performance with the exercises or normal daily activities. And if you wish to train with me, then check out the supperstrain.com where we provide evidence-based workout as well as nutrition coaching to improve human performance. Till then, stay supple, stay strong. I wanna wake up with you in the morning.